Hello children, in this lesson we are going to learn what is direct proportion. Before that, let's revise what we have learned in our previous lessons. What is ratio? Let's say there was a cricket match and our two star players Anand and Aman. Anand scored 100 runs and Aman scored 50 runs. So, we can say the ratio of runs scored by Anand is to Aman is 100 is to 50. That is 100 by 50. When we cut it, we get 2 by 1 or the ratio is 2 is to 1. Right? This is what we have learnt in our earlier lessons. We can say Anand scored 2 times runs as Aman. Right? The ratio is 2 is to 1. So when we compare two quantities in terms of how many times, this comparison is known as ratio. Like Anand scored twice the runs as Aman. And what is proportion? Let's take Anand say for example bought 4 bananas in 8 rupees and Aman bought 6 bananas in 12 rupees. Right? So they both bought different quantity of banana. He bought 4 bananas, he bought 6 bananas. He paid 8 rupees, he paid 12 rupees. And somebody asked who paid more per banana? How can we find it? Using proportion. 4 bananas in 8 rupees that is 4 bananas is to 8 rupees and he bought 6 bananas is to 12 rupees. So we can say 4 is to 8 and his ratio is 6 is to 12 that is bananas to rupees ratio is 4 is to 8 for Anand and for Aman it is 6 is to 12. If you do the use using division if you do 4 by 8 it, it comes out to be 1 by 2 that is 1 is to 2. And wow here also we get 1 is to 2 6 by 12 is 1 by 2 that is 1 is to 2. So we can say even though they both bought different quantities of banana and paid different price but price per banana is same because the ratio of bananas to rupees is same. Here one banana price is coming out to be 2 rupees here also one banana price is coming out to be 2 rupees. So when we compare quantities with different ratios and both the ratios turn out to be equal we say they are in proportion right so proportion is very useful to compare quantities in your day-to-day -day life both ratio and proportion for example if more articles you purchase you have to pay more right suppose you take some bags of wheat 10 bags of wheat. Now you purchase 20 bags of wheat, you have to pay more money, right? Compared to 10 bags of wheat. Same way if you are say, aiming for going in cricket team, more you make runs or if you are a bowler, more wickets you take, more are your chances to get selected in the cricket team. If you have a two-wheeler or a four-wheeler, more it consumes the petrol, more the distance it travels, right? You have more petrol, you can go for more the distance, right? Same way, more the number of workers, lesser the time to complete the work. Why I have made it red? Because here both the quantities, one quantity increase, other also increases. Here one quantity is increasing like more the number of workers, lesser the time to complete the work. More the water pipe, lesser the time to water the field. I will go more detail into it, this thing that what is the difference between this cases, these three cases and these three cases because they are two different kinds of proportion. They are still in proportion but two different kinds of proportion. One is called direct proportion which I am going to teach in this lesson and other is called as, this red one is called as indirect proportion or inverse proportion we are going to learn in the next lesson. So let's learn the direct proportion. Say you purchased 10 bags of rice and you paid 1000 rupees. If you purchase 20 bags of rice, will you pay more or will you pay less? You have to pay more, right? So more articles purchased, the total cost increases. So this becomes more, this becomes more. Or this becomes less, this also reduces. 
same thing for petrol say you put 5 liters of petrol and you are able to take your two wheeler for 300 kilometers now if you put 10 liters of petrol you can go for more distance right so more the petrol you put in your vehicle more the distance you can travel so when you compare quantities in a way where quantity x for example petrol increases and the quantity y also increases that is the distance in this case example more the petrol that is x increases more the distance travel the y also increases or vice versa if x decreases lesser the petrol the quantity y that is the distance also decreases in that case we say x and y are directly proportional x increases y increases x decreases y decreases or we say x is directly proportional to y petrol is directly proportional to the distance traveled or distance traveled is directly proportional to the petrol in the vehicle so x is directly proportional to y x is not equal to y remember children right x is directly proportional to y right we can say x is constant times y for example petrol rate is 70 rupees for example we can say and the distance traveled by your car is safe 14 kilometers per liter so we can see this is 70 this is 14 um, uh, kilometers so it is five times right 70 rupees equal to 5 into 14 kilometer right so x is constant times y if you double the petrol to say 10 liters then your cost also doubles so x is constant times y or we can say x is k times y when we say x is directly proportional to y to convert it into equal to we say x is k times y where k is some constant so x is one quantity y is another quantity for example the price of petrol and the distance traveled with that petrol and this is k times so if, if we take this thing down we can say x by y is constant so any quantity you take 5 liters of petrol and say you paid 350 rupees same way if you pay 10 liters if you have 10 liters of petrol you have to pay 700 rupees the ratio remains constant so when quantity x is directly proportional to y its ratio that is quantity x to y is constant or even if y to x will also be a constant a different constant y 1 by k right let's try to understand what is this use of this directly proportional right when we say x by y is constant or x is directly proportional to y when we are given different values for example x is having two values x1 and x2 say 5 liters and 10 liters and the distance traveled is also y1 and y2 we can actually find given this kind of thing say we are given x1 and y1 we are given x2 and we have to find y2 we can find it so it's a very useful concept to understand if you are given three values one value you can find say you are given the ratio of how much is the uh, petrol price and the distance traveled and you are given this is the this much is the distance you need to travel now what will be the price you can find it because you are given the normal the for one liter how much distance it is traveling and what is the cost and now you, you need to go for say thousand kilometer you can find out how what will be the price